ones. From the ups and downs of boxing's best to the changing face of boxing's biggest. Fighters from across the landscape grabbed the spotlight in a variety of ways and made boxing as dynamic as ever in 2006. In May, Oscar De La Hoya made his electrifying return. Where's the 20-month layoff? Where's all the ring rust? De La Hoya seldom looks better than this. Ricardo Mayorga was the perfect opponent for him. Perfect foil. Everything was perfect. He's got the knockout. A brilliant shot. 41-year-old Bernard Hopkins turned in a vintage performance of his own when he dominated light heavyweight king Antonio Tarver, while Shane Mosley put an exclamation point on his two-fight rivalry with Fernando Vargas. Shane hasn't looked that good in a long, long time. The biggest surprise of 2006 was the sudden rise of journeyman Carlos Valdemir. The story began with his upset of welterweight champion Zab Judah. He went out there against Zab Judah, and he said, you know what, I don't care that you're quicker, I don't care that you're a better boxer, I want this more and I'm going to prove it. Six months later against Arturo Gatti, his statement was even bolder. Last time Arturo Gatti is ruined, absolutely ruined, by a Valdemir left hook. Gatti was the most exciting fighter of his generation. That title now belongs to Filipino sensation Manny Pacquiao. The crowd chants, and he almost knocks Morales down to the left. In January, Pacquiao avenged his 2005 loss to Mexican icon Eric Morales. It was like somebody was going at 80 miles an hour. The other guy was at 50. Manny Pacquiao has knocked out the great Eric Morales. Ten months later, Pacquiao needed fewer than nine minutes to do it again. Hard right hand on Morales. Pacquiao's all over it. Got a chance. Morales slightly staggered after that last left hand. And down he goes. And the brave heart of Morales holds up, but his legs go again. Third knockdown of the fight by Pacquiao against Morales. And Morales takes his head as if to say, I want no more. Manny Pacquiao has the knockout. There's times when you need to know when you're beaten, and I think I was a beaten man tonight. 168-pound champion Joe Calzaki also joined boxing's elite thanks to his 12-round masterpiece against Jeff Lacey. Calzaghi's schooling of Lacey, flunking of Lacey, was a magnificent performance by a veteran boxer. More competitive was the showdown between middleweight King Jermaine Taylor and pound-for-pound pound stalwart Winky Wright. Winky Wright seems perfectly willing to trade with younger, bigger, supposedly stronger Jermaine Taylor. Every single round, even if you gave it to one guy or the other, was a close round. I've never seen Winky Wright's face look like this, and I haven't seen Taylor's face look like this either. Oh, you gotta fight with your fucking heart now. Let's go. And this minute may decide whether Jermaine Taylor can hold on to the middleweight championship or whether Winky Wright's going to take it away. This bout is a draw. Jermaine Taylor retains his middleweight championship. If he wanted the title so bad, he should have fought all 12 rounds because that's what I would have did. I showed everybody that I'm the champ. But the fans saw who won that fight. Floyd Mayweather, arguably the game's greatest talent, faced a turbulent start in 2006. Tenth round melee marred his April win over Zab Judah. Law enforcement authorities in the ring to try to break it up. Bunch of hotheads in there. There was Mayweather coolly in the corner, just like looking at the whole situation and said, okay, this is gonna end, we're still gonna fight. And he was ready. He was ready to complete the demolition of Zab Judah. Mayweather returned in November and put an end to Carlos Baldemir's magical run in 12 one-sided rounds. This round has been a showcase for Floyd Mayweather's brilliant straight right hand. With the victory, the pretty boy positions himself for a super fight with boxing's golden boy in 2007.
For boxing glamour division, 2006 was a year of transition. His legs are gone, and that's it! It's over! It is over! He's won the fight! Oleg Mastaev has another knockout of Hasim Rahmat. Three of four heavyweight title belts now belong to fighters from former Soviet republics, a group which includes 7-foot, 320-pound Russian Nikolai Valuev. Guns. Barrett is outgunned and in jeopardy against the big man. The year's most impressive heavyweight, however, was Ukrainian star Vladimir Klitschko, who challenged American title holder Chris Bird in April. Bird's in big trouble. Got hit with a massive left hook. Another left hook. Another right hand. Bird hasn't fired back yet. That was the longest reigning heavyweight champion amongst the various belt holders, and Klitschko just tore him apart. He followed that up with a devastating KO of Galvin Brock. Boom! A knockout win for Klitschko in the seventh round. When you knock out somebody, you're doing what a heavyweight's supposed to do. Klitschko dreams of becoming the true heavyweight champion, a feat twice accomplished by the late Floyd Patterson, a beacon of both class and dignity in and out of the ring. This year, boxing also said goodbye to Trevor Burbank, who is forever linked with the end of one iconic career and the beginning of another. While former featherweight champion Willie Pep, who notched 229 victories over the span of 26 years, forever remains one of boxing's all-time greats. Today's best strive to achieve such lasting significance. While their futures aren't certain, this much is clear. The stories of 2006 emerged from the many sides of the sport. Thanks to the fighters who demanded our undivided attention and the moments which brought boxing to life. Welcome back live at ringside in Little Rock with Lennox.